Hi guys, Twitch here from Creep Designs and I figured it was about time I go around to cleaning my brushes because I've just been letting them pile up as you can see. So I figured this was a good time to do a brush cleaning video. I'm sure most people know how to clean brushes but I thought I'd do one just in case anyone wanted some advice or help on how to best clean their brushes and look after them. I know it looks like I don't look after them but I swear I do. I just got a bit slack. So the first thing I'm doing is going through my brushes and finding which ones uh, need to go into a water-based terps to soak and which need to go into what I have left of the diggers brush and roller cleaner. Um, the diggers brush and roller cleaner as I'll tell, let you know later is a very harsh chemical cleaner and I am not massively keen on it these days now that I know of products that are a lot better for you and the environment. So I've got myself a bowl of clean hot water and my laptop so that I've got something to watch while I'm doing this. So I'm using Alice's Wonders brush soap. I'm pretty sure it's the lemongrass one, I could be wrong. Um, as you can see I've used it a lot and I just hold it in the little bag that it comes with um, and swell the brush around in it, like dip the brush in some warm water first then swell it around in the soap and then I'm using the Carts and Millie brush scrubby thingy, I can never remember the name of it so I call it my brush scrubby and then I use, I'm pretty sure I'm looking for my comb here, I use a knit comb to comb the soap through it, like it helps distribute the soap through all of the bristles as well as separating any bristles that will be stuck together and cleaning out any old paint that might be stuck in there. So with this soap, a little goes a long way. As you can see, all I've done with this brush is just get it wet and I've used some of the soap suds that are on still on the brush scrubby from the last one I washed and that is more than enough to get this brush good and soapy to get it clean. After I wash my sleek brushes, I turn them sideways and like to give them a little flick or a fan out. I forgot to do it on the first ones, but see how I'm fanning it out like that? I do that to try and stop the bristles from clumping together as they dry. So once I've got them all hung up and drying, I'll come back out again um, when they've been out drying for a while and I'll just come back through and fan them out again. It just helps them, helps the air get in there better, helps them dry better and stops bristles from you know drying really hard together. As you can see this brush is really stiff, it doesn't have a lot of paint on it but it is just really really hard. So I just get some warm water into the bristles. Can't really swirl it onto the soap because of how hard it is, but I kind of just scrape some soap onto it. And just jam it right into the scrubby thingy. And as you can see, as I scrub it in there, the bristles are softening and it's getting more movement in it. Thank you. 
sometimes I get paint or clear coat right up near the metal part on the brush brushes and it's hard to get up there so I use a little fine wire comb or wire brush to get up there and get it clean. So this is one that's been soaking in the water base turps. So it's softened all of the paint on it. This one had been sitting for quite a while with dried paint, so it's just softened it all so it makes it easier for me to clean it with the brush soap. So this one is really stiff with lots of paint on it. I had it soaking for a little bit but it didn't do much. So again, wetting it, getting some soap on it and combing it out. This time I'm using a metal toothed knit comb to comb it out just because it needed a bit more oomph. But as you'll see, I get it pretty damn clean. I know a lot of people throw these out, but I like, also like to clean my little uh, touch-up brushes from Sleek Brushes. There's nothing wrong with them, so I don't see why I would throw them out when I can just give them a quick wash and reuse them. So this is one of my little stencil brushes that I like to use for waxing. So this has just got black wax on it. I find these great for doing waxing small areas or doing detail waxing. It cleans up just as well, if not even easier, than paint. And check out how clean that is. So these next ones are the ones that I had soaking in what I had left of the Diggers Brush and Roller Restorer. They are slimy and gross, and I really don't recommend this stuff. Alright, so now that I've finally got all of that cleaning done, I will try my hardest not to put it off next time. Um, so, I don't have a new one of the Alice's Wonders brush soaps, um, and I won't show you mine because it's absolutely munted because of how much I've used it. Um, so, I'll show you this instead. This is Alice's Wonders hand balm, which I'm going to be using um, because my hands are a bit rough and dry from all of that. Um, brush cleaning not from the uh, brush soap because the brush soap actually makes your skin feel so much better and like you haven't even been washing brushes um, the main reason my hands are so dried out after doing all of that is because of these two products here mostly this one so this stuff is absolutely great for cleaning brushes and rollers that have been sitting for ages with no plastic on them or anything like that. Um, ones that are like rock solid. Um, it's great for that and I was using it for ages um, but it is really harsh and I, as I said I've I got some on my on the back of my knuckles um, whilst I was rinsing it out and it sat on my skin for too long and absolutely burnt the back of my knuckles. Um, and this stuff evaporates really badly, so whilst it is reusable and you can pour it back into the tin, um, it doesn't last very long, so it can get quite expensive. Uh, this stuff, however, I will continue to use this. So for any brushes that I have left for too long and are too hard, um, I will soak in this. So I'll just keep this in a glass jar and put the lid on when I'm not using it. It doesn't evaporate anywhere near as much. Actually, I don't even know if it evaporates at all. Um, and it's water-based, so it's really, really good. Um, can be used on both oil and water-based paints. Um, 
look at that low odor environmentally friendly for brushes tools and general purpose cleaning contains contains a conditioner to soften brushes so I will only be using this when I really need to um, and this stuff was cheap as I, I think it was I honestly can't tell you but I'll put a link to it in the description uh, from Bunnings um, the other thing is this brush cleaner or scrubby thingy I literally just looked it up on the Carts and Millie website but my memory is shot so it's a scrubby thingy um, I've had this for a while now I haven't really had a chance to show myself using it up until now um, but this thing has absolutely saved my hands blah, 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 blah. it has saved my hands because usually I'd be scrubbing brushes into the palm of my hand and my, the palm of my hand was getting really really worn out and sore from scrubbing all of my brushes into the palm of my hand so you can either hold it like that or sometimes I hold it like this I tend to hold it like that when I really need to like shove a brush in there and get really violent with it um, but yeah that's um, a brush scrubby thingy from Carts and Millie I'll put the link for that in the description as well um, as well as the link for As well as a link for Alice's Wonders hand balms and brush soaps and lip balms. Um, she's always got great stuff and new products coming out. Um, they smell absolutely bloody amazing. Um, and she is also a small company, so please support her. Um, and of course, sleek brushes. Um, so there will definitely be a link for sleek brushes in the description. So thanks for watching, I hope this has helped someone at the very least um, with how to clean your brushes, obviously there's other ways to do it, you don't have to do it the same way I did. Um, but yeah, this is the best way I find to keep my brushes clean and look after them and they will last years. Um, yeah so thanks for watching i think i already said that please subscribe and catch you next time